getting a little lighter out there, but everything is still wet. See the sky? Hey everyone, it's another weekend. Saturday was a really nice, beautiful, hot day today. But now, as we're getting ready to head out to dinner, um, the rain is starting to fall. Passing yeah, showers. So, thunderstorm type stuff. So, we're trying out a new place today, also um, for the first time. We've yeah. never been. Yeah, we haven't been, but it's been there a while. I, I think it was a different name before, it wasn't the Beach House. I think it's been a couple different it's, names. Yeah, but I, when I, 20 years ago, that place was there. So. Whatever it was, was... And very popular. That was always cars, so that place has always been a popular spot. So. so, we're going to the Beach House in Bristol, Rhode Island. It comes heavily recommended by my sister. Highly. Highly. Not heavily. Yeah. Highly recommended. Yeah. Okay, Ellie. Yeah. Highly recommended um, from you and from Fred. And, uh... Maybe good thing. we'll find out. Good thing we, um... We got indoor reservations because it's it's starting to rain and we've heard some uh, some thunder and seen some lightning. Yeah. So I mean, well, it's a beautiful spot. It's on the water. I know. Totally. But, it's too bad. You know, we'll be nice and dry and cozy inside. So yeah, yeah. and we will catch up with you once we get to the restaurant. Okay. See you soon. And these are blue crab fritters. Blue crab fritters. Oh, try it with their little sauce. Let's see what that looks like. I can see a little crab. Wow. Mm, nice flavor. Nice and tender. And very much like a mayonnaise type sauce. I'm not sure what else is in there. Aioli? Aioli? Very good. Tropical pizza. No, tropical flatbread. Okay. What's on that? So I see tomatoes, some onion. Tomatoes, red onion, um, cheese, pineapple, mozzarella. I don't know. A bunch of them. Let me take them. I see some. Looks like chicken. Yep. Pineapple, red pepper, red onion, mm -hmm. and different cheeses. Very good. Really good. And crispy. Yeah, nice thin, right? Crisp crust. It's yep. like cooked on a stove. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, everything looks good. Let's give it a try. Show me what's. Mm -hmm. Ready? The shrimp looks odd. The color of it, maybe. I, I guess because of the way it was marinated. And cucumber. 
That is shrimp. Wow. This flatbread is to die for. It is delicious. And I haven't tried that, but that actually looks like something I might try if the aioli is good. I like a spicy aioli. If it's uh, if it's not spicy aioli enough, you can ask for some hot sauce. Want to do that? Because I like spicy aioli. Spicy? Yeah. It's not very spicy at all. Well, maybe we should add a little spice to it. What is that? Yeah. So I took some of your pizza, added some of my shrimp, a little onion, and try it out. The pizza's really good. Nice, crisp, light. It's a flatbread. Tell me if that makes it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the shrimp is juicy. Or the I think, chicken is not nearly juicy the way I think what I really would blow this thing over at the it, top and, and create like it needs some heat. I think it needs a heat, yeah. I think it needs a little when she comes I'm asking for some hot sauce or for some chili flake. I think that'll totally bring yeah. both of these over the top. A little bit of your red hot, you'll be good. Over the top. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. And paella. You want to try that paella first? All right. Show me what you have on your fork. Some linguiça, some, some calamari. <laughs> That rice is very nice. Yeah, it's really good. Nice and tender. Like a sweet. I like it. Excellent. I'm gonna try my lobster roll in just a minute. There you go. There's a nice. This big is what I was craving. Roll for ya. You're gonna just try to eat some of the lobster. I'm just try and go for this. Yeah, are you able to get lobster and scallop or a separate? so fresh and yummy. Looking, where's the scallop? Is it in like chunks in there? Is that a piece of... Yeah. Tail. And there's scallops in it. Yep. I'm putting some French rib on. Yep. And maybe I'll try to pick because up the sandwich this Frank's time. goes on everything. I'm going to probably put a little in my paella if there's a little left. Absolutely. I think we have enough on there for now. Oh yeah, there you go. It is, it's a nice big roll. And it's toasted perfectly. Mm. Yeah. Lucky to be in New England, huh? This is really good. That looks I mean, great. I've had a ton of these. These are really good. Nice. Really good. Yeah. And let me steal a fry while I'm at it. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Nice, hot, light. That looks awesome. That looks really awesome. A few drops of Frank's Red Hot, and that'll be perfect. That's really, really good as you finish your meal. He even added the juices from his aquachiles with some hot sauce to his saffron-based paella, and I tasted it. It's really good. And this is the star of the show now that I added a little Frank's Red Hot sauce. Look at how much is left, and I've eaten a ton of it. Now, you know me, and I don't really like scallops, but I like that they use base scallops. Much sweeter, much very nice. Lobster. Look at this lobster meat. Oh, no. oh as Dwayne heads and spears it. <laughs> and what did they put on that for a sauce? Is it just a mayonnaise? It's really light. Yeah, it's really light, very not overly. Light. I don't like too much mayonnaise. It's mostly just like a buttery deliciousness. Yeah. This very is, good. and look how much is still left in that grilled New England style bun. Awesome, just awesome. And, oh wait, what did you think of your of your? This is, oh, you know what? It was just okay. It's a coleslaw with no mayonnaise in it. I think it's just a vinaigrette with mostly greens. And needs a bunch more vinegar. And you know what? It's if not acidy enough. Without the mayonnaise and go towards vinegar. Not enough vinegar. And, vinegar. and and I hate to say it, but I'm a KFC coleslaw girl. Don't don't yeah, don't, judge don't judge me for it. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. The 
The view of the harbor here is amazing. And it is a great bike path. And the bike path. And there's where we just ate. And now that it stopped raining, it's awesome. But it's a little gloomy still, huh? Yeah, but at least it's cooled off. It's nice, the rain stopped. So. Excuse the unstable hand work of the camera, but this is beautiful here. Look at that. And the bike path. And here in Bristol, this is gorgeous. We had a great meal. No arguing the great meal. A little loud in there. Yeah. And uh, we'll tell you what we uh, wrap up and think about this place in just two seconds. So here we are at the beach house. I'm going to find out what it used to be because I should really know. I lived here for a lot of years and I cannot remember. It's only been the beach house for like three years. And I've been here a thousand times and can't recall the name. They used the to have bands outdoor all the time. Yeah. It was, yeah, quite the usual stuff. Spot. Yeah. So, um, anyway, thumbs up from me. Oh yeah, same here. The food was very good. Um, you know, we added a little bit of pepper to our stuff, but we like it hot. So. Yeah. Other than that, great atmosphere. A little on the loud side in there, but you know, that was okay. Um, uh, service was great. Service was amazing. Yeah. Uh, everybody yeah. here was amazing. People were just great. I think the place is just a little old. It's on the water and uh, the acoustics inside, very loud. Definitely a younger crowd's place. <laughs> that's why it was good for like, you know, clubbing years ago, a place to come by and so listen. when and... we were younger, we were probably here between like 11 and 2 in the morning when they had last yeah. call, but now that we're old and eating dinner at 6, yeah. a little different when it's loud. It's a little different for us. But, hey, thanks for tuning in. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Um, Please subscribe. Yep. Like, comment below. Let us know if anyone gets out here. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.